Hey, what's, up, what's, what's up, guys? Oh, hey, dude. Can you guys hear me, hear, hear me alright and everything? Yeah. I think so. Nice! I'm on, I'm on the road. We're, we're, do, we're doing office hours on the road today. Oh, you're in the car right now? No, no, I'm, not, I'm at a Starbucks in Corona. Wait, wait, <laughs> I told you, dude, because I'm, I'm driving, I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to Vegas this, uh, for a joy for it. Well, I know, but I thought, I thought, did you make a pit stop just to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This, this is cool. Yeah. Is the stream working? Do you have enough bandwidth? I mean, this Starbucks got 25 nips, so she's doing all right. She's doing all right. Nice. Your shoes. This is great. This is great. So, Geo, what's up, dude? Yeah, and we got Philip, dude. Everyone here, dude. Everyone popping in. Nice. Good to see you guys. Oh. Always. Find it. Hey, man, my my announcer works. Oh dang. Is your stream on? Yeah, it should be on. Do you guys see it? Uh, let me check. Yeah. Did you just get power beats, dude? <laughs> no, dude, these are the, whatever, from the Amazon group, the free ones. The They look like Power Beats, but they're not Power Beats. <laughs> power Beats, but not. Power Beats, but not. Wow, nice. Okay, cool. I will say, it's fucking hot in Corona. It's a lot hotter than it is where I'm, where I'm in. You should maybe yeah, do it indoors. Well, Maybe no. At the Starbucks. Yeah, we, we could do it indoors, but then we'd have to listen to fucking Katy Perry blasting on the speakers all day. Yeah. Remember when I said that I was going to quit the grocery store? Gio and I walked yeah. out, and now we're, work we're baristas now. Yeah, now we work baristas. at Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hit us up. Is it hit us up for extra hazelnut pumps. For anyone that didn't know, it was Bommy Boy's birthday yesterday, so wish him a happy belated birthday. birthday. Yeah, yeah, dude. Birthday. We got turned. Yeah, we did get turned. We got, we got a little turned last night. Uh, My birthday is you... Sunday. Oh, nice. nice! Oh, dude, dope! Oh, on July 4th then, right? Yeah. Wow, dude, your birthday is the most free birthday ever, dude. Well, then, happy 4th of July. <laughs> I, have an, I have an idea, like, how companies do, like, birthday awards and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I think everybody should get an extra bond coin on their birthday. Oh, I think that's cool. Yeah, we should start a birthday channel. Yeah, I'm down. So, like... Yeah, start it now so I can get mine, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, all right. I'll be, he's like, free battle for birthday. <laughs> <laughs> did anybody get uh, i saw call of duty was on sale this this weekend modern warfare did, did, I bought it. you bought yeah. it yeah nice yeah if anybody a haircut dude you look great yeah dude i, I just i haircut. just met about the battle pass and i got the finisher it looks sick nice is there's there's some golden jackal character that happens at 100 or something so was showing me oh it's nice skin. welcome to Okay, awesome. So, um, let's see. This is this is office hours for both teams. Um, you guys should have both seen that you guys have some challenge questions uh, in, in, in both of your, your private teams. Has anyone been able to see that? Yo. Nice. Because I, I saw, so Expired Cypher has answered it. Word has answered it. Who else has answered it? I've got a couple of people that have, that have, that have sent me answers. And whatnot. Um, so, that's another cool way that you guys can get SCP. And uh, we're giving out bond coins. The also the um, what is it? The the essay challenge ended yesterday, and so Al Prince uh, did all those exams for everyone. So congrats to you guys who participated and passed. I know he's he's a. He, I told him to be tough. He's he's a tough he's he's a tough teacher. So uh, if you didn't have an opportunity to do it, uh, he's gonna have another one coming up, uh, and it, it'll it'll be a fun article. Did you guys did you guys like the last article that he had you guys read? I'm pretty sure I could have done it at the same time. I had I had things to do, so I couldn't. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You know. Um, yeah, I totally had to do something and did not <laughs> just be too lazy. <laughs> well, that's what we're trying to motivate you guys to not be lazy, of course. Um, let's see what oh, else. Oh, oh, it, to, <laughs> dude. Speaking about being lazy, dude. Uh, the, the gym class, dude. I congrats to the guys who have been uh, posting in the gym class. I saw Rotten Egg. Posted his third day today. Um, I think Philip, Philip, you put you posted three days already, right? I think you have. Um, so yeah, so that's awesome, you guys. Uh, we'll we'll probably be ramping that up as the uh, as the uh, as the weeks go on. So we're starting it off kind of easy, just five thousand steps, you know, three times a week. 
maybe we'll ramp it up to like ten thousand, or maybe we'll put in some fun like push ups challenges or stuff. Like I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do them, and then just it's gonna be thirty days, and each day has just one step. Oh my god, dude! You can't do that. Dude. Right. <laughs> Three days, just every day has one step. <laughs> Two right. steps, one in, one out. Yeah, NFL Mango, dude. Yeah, come to class, dude. NFL Mango did a did a cool uh one v one with Soar. Uh, it was kind of close. Uh, nice. I got challenged actually one v one by um who was it that challenged me? Losky. Uh. And he actually won. He beat me by a kill. So uh, if, if I'm around and whatnot and, and you guys want to challenge uh, someone to a 1v1 or maybe even just challenge the camp counselors, um, as long as somebody streams it, um, we'll give a bond coin to whoever wins. Um, yeah. yeah. Bill Gates, I are you... I don't do 1v1s because I mostly use melee, so everybody's going to hate me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, that's fine, dude, you know. He was using the oh, Rams. Right. He was using the Ram Seven, which is which was actually like a slapper, dude. That Ram Seven hits pretty hard. I was yeah, like, I, I use Ram Seven whenever I play Search and Destroy on Modern Warfare. Yeah, I'm um, back. Yeah, what's up, Sword? Uh, how have you guys been doing with with your games and whatnot? Uh, the what is it? The Blame Sore movement is what I've seen. Oh my God. Blame Sore for being the carry. <laughs> I finally got Gang Beast, and now I'm having the most fun of my life. Game boost. What's what? Game boost? I... Uh, yeah, gang B. Like dude, this is what happens, Sor. When when you become like a top player and whatnot, dude, they're they're gonna target you, dude. They're gonna they're gonna look at you and be like, "Yo, he's got that number one spot, dude." I'm trash, though. You're not trash, dude. You're not trash, bro. Uh, we're talking about Warzone, then. I'm here. Yeah, I'm Phillip's like, baby. I'm here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yo, me, me, Philip, and uh, who's it? Who was it? Vibes we played with earlier. Put, I didn't put, play it earlier. Yeah. Uh, oh no, sorry, it was me and Patty. Me and Patty, sorry. Oh, I fucked up, yeah. dude. Me, me, Patty, hey. and Vibes played earlier, and we uh we put up a decent decent game. It's okay. All my teachers do the same thing. So well, they are like Patrick and Philip and mix it up. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nah, well, it's funny because I can't I can't see you guys. I have to literally go off your voice oh, and yeah. and I just know you guys as as the 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 slightly older people in in the in the students groups. Yeah. But so, dude, if I play one v once, every time I win, it's probably gonna be from a finisher because I'm always melee. <laughs> yeah, uh, you. You, you are, challenge me, you gotta be ready for a right shield. You got, you there. got, you gotta be ready for the sticks, dude. The sticks and the right shield. Yeah. Didn't that karma, Matt? Didn't that karma delete what we're doing? I thought he did, but I guess it, he's back. It deleted it for some reason. Are you back? Are you well, back? It, it, like I said, it's ready to start, but it still that takes time to download. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I bought Modern Warfare for $30. I hopped on one match at SMB, and everyone was, like, yelling at each other. I had the best time of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's... There was screaming and everything. I had my money. Yeah, machine. that's the best part. What What is this thing, wagers, you guys talk about? There's wagers or something? So, I can explain it. So, you go into, like, a, a quad match, and it's, like, a 2v2. Okay. So, you and your partner, you split off, you go different um, parts to, you go to, like, different parts of the uh, map. Okay. And your team tries getting more kills than the other team. It's, like, a 2v2, basically. Ah, okay. Why don't we do that? You do it for money. Is it, is, it, is it an official mode, or is it something that, that people just, like, play? No, just, just in um, VR, regular VR quads. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, okay, it's regular VR quads. Ah, interesting. Okay. You okay. and your friend try you go against like a random duo that try like wagering you. Yes. You wager like ten dollars. Then you and if you win, it's like three matches you do. Whoever has more kills at the end. Oh, oh and, and like it's just like an honor system for people to like Venmo each other. Yeah. The people get scammed like people like some they say they'll do ten dollars, but then sometimes they'll be like slow losers and they won't do it. Oh man, dude. Yeah. See, see that that's <laughs> We can do that, both bond coins. Yeah, see, wager. yeah, that's yeah. You guys can do wage. That's why I have the the whatever room for uh uh the, uh, the trading yeah, I'm not room. Doing that. I already lost three of reading. Yeah, but you've gained some bond coins uh, challenging people before, sword, dude. Yeah. And 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 you know, and we'll, we'll keep people honest. And you guys are honest, anyways. You guys are you guys are doing a pretty good job of being nice to each other. I haven't had to I'm, pick anyone. As long as I have bond coins. If I don't, I'm no longer <laughs> trusted. <laughs> I'm not to be trusted if I don't have bond coins. Nice. Okay, does anyone have any questions about math or science stuff? You know, um, any, anybody have questions about the, the challenge problems that we have? We can we can kind of go over them if you guys have some... that pro- I, I don't get the fourth event. You don't get the what? Or example. 
the fourth example. The fourth example. Okay, so what 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 is the fourth example? Can uh... wait, 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 it's the third one. Actually, I don't know. Here, let me... Yeah, it's a fourth. Let me find. It's about. Uh... Let me find it. It's in. Uh, where did I put? It? I put it in your guys's. Uh, your guys's chat. Yeah, with the challenges. Challenges. Third example. Oh, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, evaluate each expression. Those ones. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go over that real quick. So, let's see. the question they ask you, they say like, they say like, evaluate each expression for a equals. Let's just come up with random numbers. I'm gonna do different numbers so that you know, you know, you could still do it. The questions that are assigned. B equals a. C equals. Let's say two or three. Okay. All right. You see that store? Oh, let me share my screen. Wait. Let me let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Sorry, I always forget to do this. Now I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One sec. Let me share. Let me share. Share. We're really it gonna we're reportable. we're really gonna test this uh entire screen. testing. Yes. We're testing. We're testing this Starbucks Wi-Fi, dude. Yes, Starbucks. Starbucks Wi-Fi. Okay. Even better if it's McDonald's Wi-Fi. Make, sure, make sure you give me a frappuccino. <laughs> dude, some some girl well, here. I, 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 some girl girl here ordered it's it's called like a cookie crumble like mocha china. I'm like, what the fuck? That shit looks like like a Oh yeah, cake. those are good. Yeah, it's caramel um ribbon crunch or something like that. Yeah, so, right, like, dude. Mocha yeah, for it's, so good. <laughs> it's got like fucking cookies on it, dude. I'm like, what what type yeah, of drink mocha is cookie crumble? Oh my Dude, what at what point did they just start being like, fuck it, dude, we're putting cookies on it? Are you a barista? I would. <laughs> if I worked there, I didn't know that. I'd just, I'd just seriously just stay up and say, "What do you want next? Nail an artifact? What the is this?" Oh my god! All right, is is um okay? So Sork, is my is my screen sharing? You can see you can see this shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Cool. So they're this saying just, they're yeah. saying evaluate each expression for like a equals six, b equals eight, and c equals three, and then they give you some examples. For instance, they'll say like uh bigger. Say for instance, they say like uh. B plus C, okay? So, mm -hmm. Thor, Thor what, what do you think it means when I say evaluate B plus C when B equals 8 and C equals 3? So it's A plus 3 then. Yeah, good, exactly. I don't have my soundboard, but yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't yeah, all you got to do, dude, is anywhere you see a B, you just got to put an 8 in, you know? And anywhere you see a C, you need to put a 3 in. So this just becomes 8 plus 3, which equals 11, right? You know, I, I used to be doing a... I used to be doing assignments hey, you know, that's number very three. easily. I'm talking about number four. I mean, that, I mean that is example four. I mean, wh which one? Which one's number four? Hey. Uh, it's just about a. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh! Brianna practices. Oh, dude, I saw the wrong one. I saw the wrong. One. Okay, 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 okay. Write an expression. Okay, here we go. Okay, here. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, so let's say we have a. This is so. So we did this. This is this is what this is. This is called creating algebraic expressions. Is what it is, okay, from word problems. So, for instance, mm -hmm. we could say that Soar uh, levels up two guns every every day. Okay, uh, write an expression for how many guns he has leveled up after he number of days. Okay. So. So again, remember, remember when we're creating al algebraic expressions, which are really just equations. Uh, you always have to have a variable, right? Right, Sor. Yeah. So what? What's a variable usually? What? What? What do we? What do we make variables? Uh, the letters turn. Good. To... Good. Perfect. Perfect. The letters. Yeah. So. So in here, like, which? 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 Which letter here is probably going to be the variable? D. D. Perfect. Uh, yeah, see D number of days. So this this is what we're gonna call this is this is the variable. Okay. Alright. And then we have to ask, okay, so what are we looking for, right? So in this word problem, they want to know what. Write an expression for how many what? Guns. Good. How many guns he's leveled up, okay? So a, a thing we could write here would be like, okay, so guns, so number of guns, right? is equal to some equation, right, that involves the variable, which in this case, there's going to be a D there somewhere, okay? So, so we know, right, that um, the number of guns that he that you, that SOAR levels up 
related to how many days he plays. Okay, so how many how many guns does he level up in one day? Two guns. Two guns. Good. Right. Okay. So, do you see how the number of guns that you level up is equal to two times D? Because, so for instance, yeah, yeah, yeah. so if this is equal to one, right, you get two times one, which is just two, right? And yeah. then, then let's say like, okay, what, what if, what if, for instance, you uh, you spent six days leveling up guns, right? How many? How many? That would be twelve, right? And you see how if I plug in six for D here, I would get two times six, which would give you twelve. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. So this this is a uh, this is an example of again creating from a word problem an equation, right? Uh, and, and and so what we're doing is like D here is the number of days, and then this is usually just going to be a multiplier, which is how many of something happens every time there's a day or something, right? Um, hmm. Let's okay. Let's 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 try another example. Try another example. Uh, someone random here. What's up? This is actually kind of cool. Uh, I love that you can you can look at the Twitch stuff on your phone. Like, wow, that's cool. They have like a stream manager. Or when you guys get into streaming, we'll uh we, we'll do like a cool little course and stuff to show you guys how to how to do it. Use mobile devices. I think, I think you are, you go on the phone to you do view dashboard, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like stream man. Yeah, it's cool though because you yeah. know I because I, I only have one screen right now. Usually I got like a bunch of screens. I'm able to see this and this and this, but this is kind of like my yeah, extra, know, my extra yeah. screen. Let's say uh, Soar is. What's your favorite car, Soar? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have a favorite car, dude. Well, okay. If 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 I could buy you a car, Soar, what car would you want me to buy you? A JDM. A JDM. Okay. Like a what? Let's. Mm -hmm. So JDM means like. This is a random car. Yeah, JDM. This is probably a rental car. Okay, let's let's say let's say I get you a, a Geo Metro. <laughs> Do you know what a Geo Metro is? No. You never seen one? Sec, let's pull it up. One, one up, real quick. This this is this is a Geo Metro. <laughs> Yo, that's a sick car. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, did someone made a drop top Geo Metro? What? <laughs> Okay. Car to pop, bro. Yeah, this dude, this is the the quintessential like cheapest fucking car you can ever buy. Uh, okay, let's say it's a drippy car. It's a it's a it's a drip car, dude. Yeah, it's that's a that's a panty melter for sure, dude. All right, so Sora's driving a Geo Metro, uh, but it doesn't go very fast. Okay, we'll get you a fast car for the next one. Okay, Sora. Uh, you said any okay. car. Okay. Give me the Mustang. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking in the process. If if the Geo Metro goes 15 miles per hour, okay. Um, how? So, who's it changed names? What's up? Nothing. Nothing. Write an equate. Write an expression for how many miles the car travels after h number of hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how how would we do this one? Let's try let's try and do this one. Sir. Okay. So what, what do we got? Ideas? Hours. Good, good. So h h is the number, right? This is the variable, right? Sorry, say that again. Then we're going 15 miles per hour. Good, 15 miles per hour. So that means every hour you go 15 miles. Okay. So. How would we write an expression for the total miles you go after h number of hours? So it's going to be times. Good. It's going to be times, right? Yeah. And what's it going to be? 15 times d p or me h. Yes. Good. Nice. Nice. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I want my soundboard. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. So 15 times h, right? Because for every hour, right? So if you go, if you've driven one hour, right? You've gone 15 miles. If this is two hours, then you've gone 30 miles. Three hours, 45. Yeah. Uh, I kind of got you in a better car than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, but wait, do you, do you do you see how that do you see how that works? Yeah. Yeah. So that that's an example of. Um, and I think the next part of the question uh, on on that on that challenge problem is. 
they start asking you to basically just plug in plug in numbers for this variable, which is just you know just doing the math, right? Fifteen times two, fifteen times three. Yeah. Let's uh let's do something let's do something slightly slightly trickier, okay? Okay. Let's give you more numbers. Let's say Soar is driving a Ferrari, okay? Which goes very very fast, okay? Because the number, but okay. The Ferrari can go ninety miles per hour. Uh, let's say if Soar has already traveled forty miles, what is an expression? For the total distance he has traveled after h number of hours. Okay, let's try this. Damn. All right, so we made we we what what's changed here, Sor? What did we add to this? We made we we added one more thing to this. Yeah, two more numbers. I added yeah yeah I added one more number right one more number. Wait, which which number did I add? Forty. Yeah, good. I added this. I added this this forty right. I said, ooh, he's already traveled 40 miles, right? So let's let's uh let's again. So let's let's try and write our equation. So we're we want to figure out what the total miles are, right? Total miles is equal to something. So what what are we gonna write? Indeed. Hmm. It's gonna be Hey, what's the letter? Okay. Let's find it. Where's the letter? Where's the letter? Where do you see the letter? Is it gonna be hour? Number of hours, right? Yeah, but but there's a letter here, right? You see this? H. Oh, H. Good. So there's something yeah. with an H here, right? Okay. So wh what are we gonna do with the H? Times it. Yeah. What are we gonna multiply it by? Ninety and forty. Well, not ninety and forty, right? So the Ferrari goes ninety miles in one hour, right? So that we're gonna put the ninety here, right? Because that's yeah. That's how many after h number of hours it's traveled ninety miles. Okay, but what about this forty here? Minus forty. Okay, close, close, close to the minus forty. Add forty then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You're like, ah, if he said minus forty, it's close. Yes, it is plus forty. All right. Here's the reason, guys, why it's why it's plus forty, right? Because we want to know the total number of miles he's traveled, right? So yeah, total means that, right? Well, yeah, so total means you're going to add up all the stuff, right? But but what you can see here is, right, he's already traveled 40 miles even before he does anything, right? So if H was equal to zero, right, this whole thing would be zero, right? Starts at 40. Good. Yes, 90. good. Good, good. It starts at 40, and then every hour he travels another 90 miles. That's how we figure out the total it's distance. Keep adding up. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is what he start. This is like his starting uh, distance, right? Starting, and then this is going to be yeah. So every hour he travels another ninety miles. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Here, let's let's let's. I, I know another cool word problem we can do here. Um, Sor, what's your dream job? What's your dream job? What do you want to do? Is it, I don't, don't even know what I want to do. Okay, let's say you work at the deli with us, okay? Sora works okay. with Bonmi Boy One and Geo and Owl and A Rod at the deli, okay? <laughs> they get paid four dollars for every honey ham they sell plus a base salary of fifty dollars for the day okay um oh we have to figure out how many hours they work for that one day <laughs> well no we're gonna get to that we're gonna get that um uh no actually let's change this i want to change this a little bit okay and geo uh okay watch okay and we're gonna make this a little bit different okay uh al and a rod work in management, okay, 
mm-hmm. where they get paid a hundred dollars for the day. Um, and let's are say, ta- are we talking boar's head? <laughs> yeah, the boar's head honey ham, dude. <laughs> and, and and uh, let's 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 say, uh, actually, let's just let's make it simple for now. We'll make it simple. Okay, okay. So we're gonna ask the question. Write an expression for how much Swore gets paid for selling uh, uh, X number of Swore's head honey hams. Okay. Uh, if Swore sells ten, uh, let's say let's uh, let's say fifteen. Honey hams. Who makes more money, Al or so? Okay. So this is this is this is this is what we call uh, this is a multi multi part question, right? There's there are multiple things that they want you to answer, and there are a couple steps. Okay. So Sor, what's what's the first part of the question that they're asking? Or gets more. So, yeah, yeah, someone's already got the answer. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, well let, let's let's try to answer. So, okay. No, no, you're good. You got the answer. So, let's see how you got that answer. Okay. Uh, so, let's do the first part, which is write an expression for how much sore gets paid for selling X number of honey hands. What what would that expression equal to? Just say like sores, sores money. Four times X. So, sorry. Say that again. Four times X. Very good. Four times X. Okay. Because again, X is the number of, of honey hams he sells, right? And he gets paid four dollars for every honey ham. And then what else do we need to put in here? Plus fifty. Very good, very good, very good. Plus fifty. And the reason we have the plus fifty is why. Because that's what he gets for the day. Good, exactly. That's kinda like what he starts with, right? He starts with getting paid fifty dollars, right? And then every honey ham X, he gets another four dollars. Okay. So then let's go to the second part of the question, which they say, if Sore sells fifteen honey hams, who makes more money, Al or Sore? So how do we solve this part? Four times fifteen, then plus fifty. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. So what we did here, guys, is we just plugged in fifteen for X, because that's how many honey hams he sold, right? And we plugged it into our equation here. And 4 times 15, right, good, is 60. 60 plus 50 is going to equal to 110, right? That's how much money he makes. And now we can compare this, right? Because how much did Al make for the day? Good, he made $100, great. And so $110 is greater than $100, right? So Soar makes more money. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. Very good, very good. For some reason, when I counted it, it it end up as uh, Sora got five hundred or something. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you did something slightly wrong with the with the number here. Yeah. I yeah. thought four times fifteen equals five hundred. Oh, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Four, <laughs> four times fifteen is on is on a hundred, Nick. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's try something slightly trickier. Okay. Let's uh. Let's, um, Nick, right? Nick, that's your name, right? Nick? Yeah. Okay, dope, Nick. Okay, Nick. What's, uh, let, uh let's, act, it's, it's, how about you come up with, uh, what, what's, a what's a job you'd like to work? You know? IT. IT, okay, cool. IT's good. I like that. IT's good. Okay. So let's say that, um, so let's make this a different. Is, Pixel Nick uh, is applying for jobs in IT. He is offered two different uh, positions with different salary options. Okay? So let's say option one 
is a base salary of let's see, people get paid a decent amount in IT. Uh, let's say eighty thousand. Eighty thousand dollars plus uh eighty thousand dollars a day. No, it, uh, it, well, when we say salary, it's usually a yearly salary. Is what it is. It's eighty thousand for the year, right? Um, plus, uh, let's say a hundred dollars for every hour of overtime. Okay. Option two is a base salary of sixty thousand. Okay. Plus five hundred dollars. For every hour of overtime, okay. So, yeah. So he's getting a lot of money for for every hours of overtime. Okay. So, so here, here's the question we'll we'll ask. Okay. Um, if Nick doesn't want to do any overtime, which option should he take? And then next question is, okay, how much? Overtime, would he have to do for um, in order for his salary in both options to be the same? Okay. So Nick, this is this is your question, and, and Nick, I'll give you here. Let me give let me give where is the office hours? Senpai, I'm going to give you an extra bond coin for going over that question. And Nick, I'll give you an extra one. Frick yeah. Yeah, dude, you get one for this. Let me give you for that. And then we, we add... Oh, oh, you're up to 10, dude. Nice. And then here, I'm going to add this to Nick. Okay. At least 11. All right, Nick, let's try to do this, dude. Okay? So if you don't want to do any overtime, which option should you take? The 80000 a year? Yeah, perfect. Good. Option one, right? Because, you know... We could think the cool thing to do would be, would be to write out what the uh, what the salaries are for each one. So we could say option one, right? People really honking for the right. This is eighty thousand plus a hundred times x, where x is the number of uh, hours of overtime. What would the equation be for option two? Sixty thousand plus five hundred x. Good, good. Plus five hundred. <laughs> what? Dude, people need to chill, dude. It's, it's just coffee. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so let's let's look at the second part of the question. This is the one where it's slightly trickier, Nick. Where it says, how much overtime would we have to do in order for them to be the same? How, how are we going to do this? Uh, me don't know. Okay, okay. All good. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. So the question is, right, we're trying to find out how much overtime we have to do in order for the salaries to be the same, right? So in terms of an equation, right, that means we want option one to equal option two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? So we want to figure out when does the salary for option one equal the same thing as the salary for option two, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Do we need to find out what's in a day, or what's in what? Sorry. Like what? How much you get in a day? Oh, what? Well, uh, no, we don't have to figure out how much you have to get in a day. We don't have to figure that out. Um. Mm -hmm. So, because these are yearly salaries, is what they are, right? We just need to figure out when the salary from option one equals the salary from option two. Okay, and this is kind of, this goes back to what we were doing. Remember when we had like A equals this, B equals this, and we said evaluate for like, mm -hmm. yeah? This is called substituting. So what we're gonna do is, we know that option one is equal to what? 80,000 plus 100. Perfect, good. So I'm gonna write that here. I'm gonna say 80,000 plus 100X, okay? Is equal to, what am I going to write here? 60,000 plus 500. Perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. This is this is why algebra is 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 powerful is because now you have an equation you can solve uh in order to determine, right? How many hours x you need for them to be equal, okay? 
You see how this is like this is just like one big algebraic expression. I hope yeah. you are doing what I think you're doing. Okay. Well, no, no, we're gonna do it. Do it. What do you think we're doing? That's the question. What do you think? What, what do you think we're doing? Minus sixty on both sides. Good. Very good. 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 Yes. So what Nick's doing here is 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 algebra, and and in algebra, what we're trying to do is we're trying to isolate this variable x, which means we're trying to get all of the numbers on one side and all the numbers with x on another side. So he did the, the good first step, which is he subtracted 60,000 from both sides, okay? The rule in algebra, the golden rule of algebra is you can do anything as long as you do the same thing to one side as you do to the other. So if I wanna subtract 60,000 from the right side here, I can do that, but I need to also subtract it from the left side as well, okay? So. 60,000 minus 60,000, right? This is just going to become zero, right? What's 80,000 minus 60,000? 20,000. Good, 20,000. Perfect. Okay, so we got 20,000. Yeah, 20. Good. And we still have the 100x here, right? And we still have the plus 500x here, okay? Good. All right, Nick, what, what's the next step here? The minus 100. From Good. Good, good, good. Minus 100x, right? So the reason why Nick is doing this, right, is because now, now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this x only on one side of the equal sign, right? And what we see is there's like, oh, there's a 100x here and there's a 500x here. I have another number here, so let's get this 100x away so that we, it, it just goes with the x's, right? X's want to stay with x's. Numbers without x's would like to stay with numbers without x's. Uh, so good. The next thing Nick Nick did, right, was he did minus 100x, okay? And if I minus 100x on this side, Soar, what do I have to do on this side? If I minus 100x on this side? Yeah, do the same side. Very so good. It's minus x again. Good, minus 100x on this side. Perfect, perfect, right? So plus 100x, minus 100x, this is going to go away, and this is just going to become zero. But we still have the 20,000 here. Okay, and then what happens here? What happens when I do 500x minus 100x, guys? 400. Good, I get 400x, okay? If I have 500x's and I subtract 100x's, I now have 400x's, okay? All right, we're almost done. Uh, what's, what's the last step here, Nick? Divide. Good, divide by what? 400. Perfect, perfect, very good. Not x. Not x. Yes, good. So what happens is, okay, so here's here's the last step. So now we have all the things with x on one side and all the things without x on the other side. But the issue is there's still this 400 attached to the x, and we want to get rid of it, okay? And the trick in algebra is if you're ever trying to get rid of something that's attached to your x, just do the opposite thing. So since this is multiplying 400, we're going to divide by 400, okay? So we're going to divide by 4. And if I divide by 400 on the right side, what do I have to do on the left side? Divide by 400. Good, very good. Divide by 400, okay? So now 400x divided... a calculator? Nah, you don't... I'll show you. You don't need a calculator for this. So we'll, we'll show you how this works. So oh, four... minus two zeros. Good, 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 good. Nick, Nick, Nick. Very good, very good. So here's a trick. If you, if you have something with a bunch of zeros on top and a bunch of zeros on the bottom, you can cancel the zeros when you're trying to, this is a way of simplifying fractions, okay? So if I have one zero here, I can cancel the one zero here. And you have to go from right to left, okay? Don't go from left to right. Uh, I got another zero, so I can cancel another zero, right? So now all I'm left with is 200 over four. And what's two, what's, what's, uh, sorry, this is a zero. 200 over four. And what's 200 over four, guys? Uh, 800k? <laughs> no, no, no. 200 divided by 4. Oh! Divided by 4. It's 200 divided by 4. Is it 8 then? No. It's 4 times 8, 200. 4 times no. what? 4 times what is 200? I think I'm dumb. I don't remember. No, it's okay. Um, yeah. It's okay. What? What is 20? Good. 50. 50. 50. Yes, good. This is 50. A way you guys can do uh, this yeah. is you you can start taking... Okay, so if you have something where you're like, oh man, and this is still a big number and I still don't get it, 
as long as they're just zeros, here's what you can do. You can take the zeros away and then put them back at the end. So a thing to do here is be like, okay, let me take away one of the zeros, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna take one and put it over here. Now what do I have? I, I thought of it. I was like, what is twenty divided by four? Perfect. Oh wait, five, oh wait, fifty. Exactly, exactly. So do you see how now I have twenty over four, which is a lot easier. You know what twenty divided by four, right? That's five, right? So you say, Oh cool, this is five. And now you got to put the zero back. And that's why it's fifty. Is that cool? That's a cool. That's a cool yeah. trick. Let's let's uh let, let's 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 try this with with something else actually. Let's try um um thirty six hundred divided by six. How how do you think you guys would do this one? Using that trick. Oh, sorry. I think you already said the the answer, Nick. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, 600. 600, right? Okay. Yeah. And how did you do that? 36 divided by 6 is 6 plus Good. 2 zeros. Good. So what Nick did is he's like, I'm just going to get rid of these two zeros for now, right? I'm just going to I'm just going to going to take them and I'm going to I'm going to going to put them somewhere else, right? Yeah, eat. And then you have 36 <laughs> over 6, right? Which is just 6 and then put the zeros back. 600. Mhm. Mm yeah. That that's a that's a cool math trick you guys can use um in order to um, in order to do anything with big numbers, it, as long as they're just zeros, you can always take the zeros away and then you can put the zeros back. Okay. Uh, anybody else got any any questions in math, science? Want to chime up? Want to earn a bond coin? We're doing stuff. Thank you, Nick and and Sora. That was great. Yeah. All right. So Reaper do the same stuff. Ah, so it was. It I was. Love to, I would love to get a free uh, coin, but I got I got no coin. <laughs> but yeah, all good, all good. Let's see. Let me check the chat. Oh. Oh, word. What's up, dude? Hey, was it forty hours of overtime? What was our answer on that last one? Uh, it ended up being fifty hours of overtime. It was close. Close one. Very close. Uh. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's see what else was going to be in chapter one of. Uh, you start previewing some of the stuff you guys are going to have for the next chapter. Right. Right today. Yes. Chapter one. This is the textbook we're using. Ooh, adding real numbers. Oh, these are always good. Let's see some, let's see some questions. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, power is an exponent. I like these. Oh, yeah, uh, Gio. What's up, dude? Are you still going to teach us how the score point works? Oh, yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. That's a good, yeah, yeah, you were, you were asking, all right, so let's take, for example, uh, one of the matches you guys played, right? You were, you were trying to wonder, like, how do, how do we figure out the score? Um, let's see. You guys put it in the scoreboard, right? How many points is this? Which one? Uh, so, Raiden, which, which one are you talking about? Is it the one that, let's, let's look, for example, this one. Copy this one. So Raiden, is is this the is this the game you're asking about? How do we calculate the score for this one? Is, he, is Raiden in the E E E? Yeah, above it's that one. It's this one. Okay, good. All right, all right, guys. All right, so let's let's remember. Um, let's pull in. The, I'm going to show you where this is. Right.
Also, we had some new people join. Uh, welcome, guys. Um, make sure you read the read here first, or ask anyone. You guys, you guys are very helpful with helping each other out. Uh, I'm not, I'm not around all the time, but if you guys can be nice to the new people and, and show them, like, you know, this is where you get bond coins. This is where you get SCP. You know, this is. Uh, I saw you guys were playing with Lasky uh, last night too, right? He just joined. Uh, it's pretty good. All right, let's see. Uh, this is. This is this is this is the information you want right here. Okay, so Soar, let's let's look at let's look at what the first part of the the scoring thing I put in, right? Okay, what what is the first what's the first thing say? When you t uh, every kill is a thousand SCP. Good. Okay, so how many kills did you have in your match? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna do? How many SCP do you get right. for those nine kills? That's nine thousand. Good. Exactly. So nine times a thousand, right? That's the first part, okay? All right. All right. What's 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 the next thing I say? There's a there's a multiplier, right? So yeah, multiply the meeting of the KD. Well, we'll get to that eventually. But there's a there's a uh, first there's there, the first multiplier is for whether you finish second through fifteenth or for winning first, right? Uh -huh. So this is based on the placement in the match, okay? So what was your placement in this match? I, I, fourth, I think. Fourth, yeah, fourth. Good. That's what this number here means. This means you got in fourth place, all right? So, what multiplier are you guys gonna get? I, I don't know. Okay. So look, there's a 1.5 multiplier for finishing second through fifteenth, mm -hmm. and a two times multiplier if you win first. So, so which... 1.5 then. Good. Exactly. Good. So we're gonna put another 1.5 here, right? Or, or sorry, a, a single 1.5. Right? This is the multiplier you got for finishing fourth, right? Which is between second and fifteenth. Okay? Yes. And then what does it say down here? Uh, you gotta multiply the KD of the lobby. Median KD of a lobby, right? And uh, guys, the reason why we do this uh, is because we want to reward you if your lobby is hard, right? That one where you guys got 38 kills is very impressive, but then I noticed that the median KD was 0.5, which means you guys basically got a bot lobby. <laughs> like 0. 0.5 is uh if if the entire lobby is 0. 0.5 that that's a pretty easy lobby to go against right you guys had a median kd of what in this in this round right here what was supposed to be median kd 0. 0.74 you see how it says median kd 0. 0.74 right and again it's the kd of your lobby not the kd of your team this is the kd of your team Right, this is what you guys average out to between uh, my balls, uh, Spectra, and Sword. Right, you guys average out to 0.75, but the median, so the median is kind of like the average, except that uh, it's resistant to outliers, which means uh, what that means is, for instance, if if some team comes in with a KD of six, it's not going to move this very, very much, a lot. It would move the average a lot, but we're gonna we're gonna use the median. Uh, and this is a statistics thing that I can go over later, but uh, for now, just know that you need to use the median, right? So where am I going to put this soar? What am I going to do with this median KD? Or... Hero? <laughs> so for everyone else who's watching, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply by the median KD. So you're going to put a, a, a 0. 0.74 here, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what's the final thing, what's the final multiplier that we put on? Uh... Is it... Sorry? Playing with a member of your team. Good, good. So for so there's an additional multiplier for depending how many other teammates you had. Okay. 
So in this game, how many other teammates did you have? I had, I had two. You had two. Good. You had two other teammates. Technically, there were three of you, right? But you yourself played with two other people. So that means you're going to put another multiplier here. In this case, you're going to put a multiplier of two. Does that make sense? So this is kills. This is placement. This is KD. And this is number on your team. Okay? And now what you guys do is you multiply all these numbers together. Okay? So let's, let's, I, I need a calculator for this one. I can't, I can't do this one off the top of my head. Calculator. Nine times 1,000 times 1. 1.5. <laughs> 19,980. Okay, good, good, good. This is 19,980. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay. I did that in my head, baby. Oh, no, damn, you smart one, Bombie boy. 980. <laughs> yes, SCP. Which I think, I think that's the best one so far this week, is it? Probably. I don't think I've seen anyone get higher. Well, let's, let's see, let's see, what do we have? Uh, I was playing with, with, like, two other. I don't remember, I don't know their names. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I had zero kills. Yes. Do I still get uh, points for it or no? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is this is the uh, this is the additional part of the of of the. So okay. Be the reason the reason why it does it the reason why we're counting again just the total number of kills for your entire team because a lot of times for instance you people play the support role like uh, Al for instance is very good at like knocking people down very good at breaking plates. Uh, but he doesn't always go for the finish because uh, he's better at, at at taking people, like, being a support role from kind of afar. Um, but he's still, he, he's shy. <laughs> I don't know if he's shy. Uh, but that, that, he still helps the team a ton, right? So that's why we only care about the total team kills, right? Um, so if you get zero kills, but you still played in that match, I guarantee you, you at least did some damage. And you probably helped out. So that's why uh, we don't we don't care what how many kills you got. We just care how many kills the total team got. Okay. Now the reason why you want to play uh, to submit any round with someone is that there's a there's a there's a there's an additional thing down here, which says that players that submit participate in any round with at least one team member, you guys can get an additional bond coin at next week's office hours. So. Let, let's say, for instance, uh, Nick, even, even if you played with, like, one other person, let's say you both got zero kills, like, you know, you just got instantly wiped by some sweaty rose skins. Um, you should still post that match in the scoreboard because what happens is come Monday, right, on, on your office hours, you can say, hey, Dr. Gold, I played a match last uh, week uh, with another person on my team. Uh, I should get a bond coin for that. And I'll be like, yes, you do. So you get one bond coin for for submitting any round that you play with at least one other team member the week before. Uh, the the team that gets they did submit. sorry they did submit it. There was a picture of me with zero kills. That's fine then. Then good. That's good. That's good. Just just remind me. Remind me on Monday's office hours. Just be like, hey, Doctor Gold, I uh, because you have you have to show up to office hours and tell me. Uh, I can't I can't keep track of. <laughs> there's so many of you guys playing all these games and. Until I get a dev to code us a custom bot to do all this, I have to do all this by hand. Um, so yeah. on Monday, come office hours, just come in and be like, yo, Dr. Gold, I played one, and I'll check it real quick. Be like, yeah, you did. Okay, cool. And you'll get a bond coin. Right. You'll get a bond coin for, uh, for playing. Uh, the reason why you guys wanna, you want to try and get the best score, right, is that you want your team to have uh, the highest uh, SCP. Um, and, and this is, this is, this is where the, uh, this is where another, there's, there's some bonus, bonuses that come in. Uh, this is again, part of the rules, which we say that, um, whichever team, so in this case, it was team A, team B, which is now team Vietnam, team homies, whichever team has the highest SCP match. So the match with the most SCP, everybody on that team. So everybody on team Vietnam or everybody on team homies will get a thousand SCP individually for that week okay 
Um, also, if you were on the squad, so let's say you were in that match that had the that that had the highest number of SCP. Um, you guys, everyone who's in that match, you guys get five thousand SCP divided evenly amongst all you guys. So let's say that that round that was nineteen thousand SCP ends up being the top one for the entire um, week. Then each one of you would get five thousand divided by three, which is one thousand six hundred sixty-seven SCP. So you'd get the one thousand just for your team winning, but you'd also get one thousand six hundred sixty-seven for being on that winning team. Um, and then, of course, whatever your team SCP is, that starts going towards uh, the team SCP leaderboard, which um, I think is team SC. So here's a website for it: it's team SCP. Actual education. And what this does is, this is a document which has, for every week, what the best game was. And so here we can see, so for Team A, their best game had 92,000 SCP. Team B's best game had 62,000 SCP. And every week, we're going to take the best round from each team and put it in here. And at the end of summer camp, which will be early August, whichever team has the most amount of SCP total, uh, that team will get the big team prize, which will be a lot of cool back-to-school stuff. Uh, you guys have suggested some stuff. We're, we're thinking some T-shirts, some backpacks, maybe some some actual education, some gold pencil bags, stickers. some stickers, lots yeah. of stickers. Yeah. And the uh, PlayStation Five, baby. iPhone. <laughs> iPhone, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll get you guys well, an iPhone. Yeah. What's up, Sor? Who's in the which team's in the lead right now? Team A is. So Team A has ninety-two thousand. Team B has sixty-two thousand. Um, it's close. No, like for this week. This week. Uh, I think Team A is still up. I think yours with 19,000 is beating Team B, which I think they have a 10,000 round is what they have. Um, but, you know, there's still the weekend. still July 4th. Um, so get to when it. Like, the clock reset? The clock uh, resets week. Sunday at midnight. My time, okay. Pacific. How, how, how's, the stu how's the student... How's the... Uh, how are you guys doing with your games? Uh, camp counselors, we we uh we didn't do too well this week, so I think both you guys will beat us, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, although there's still time, I I I may be back Sunday to 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 play some. Uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, a, maybe a guest, Doctor Gold and Bon Me Boy. Oh, joint stream. Game. Yeah, maybe we a should joint get stream. Let's get your Alienware set up, dude. I'll I'll come by and we'll 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 play together in the same house. You could, you could. Yeah. All right, my my uh my my Mac has six five percent battery left. So and this is perfect because we're at the end of office hours. Um, so thank you everyone for who joined. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome July Fourth weekend. Um, now is recess. I can't play with you guys because I don't have my PC here. But Bobby Boy, I think you were talking about um you wanted to maybe do some rebirth customs. Yeah, so if we if we have enough people, then we can do rebirth customs. Otherwise, if you guys still wanted to do trivia, we could. Do that as well but us friends meet friends yeah okay so i'll leave that i'll leave that to you bombing boy uh if if you want to you should have powers to move everyone into channels i think right uh i'm powerful you're powerful he's a hall of honor right? so i'm powerful oh. baby <laughs> you, can do that too, you know yeah i can do it too yeah that's right that's right okay all right i'm gonna let you guys you guys have fun in recess um play some games some fun I will see every. I will see Team A again on Monday, and I will see Team B on Wednesday. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. Enjoy it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.